channel hope you're having an amazing day before I start with today's video I do want to apologize in advance if my makeup um, is a little bit off I haven't bought in any makeup that actually matches me right now I have, I have my makeup from the summer and since I don't wear makeup like at all except only when I film or if I go out maybe like once a week then you know I try to work with it but I am pretty much wearing my summer powder and I do get pretty tan so if it's a little bit darker, we'll just go with it. For today's video, I did want to give you guys a little bag review slash what's in my bag. So the last time I uploaded a what's in my bag, I gave you guys a review on my Marc Jacobs mini tote bag. And that is my everyday bag. I love it ever since I got it. I have not stopped using it. I only said that I was going to use it for work, but I honestly used it to go out. It's just, it's very practical and I actually have it right here. Um, it's very practical. The size of it is perfect. If I want to put my iPad in there, like mini iPad, if it's perfectly, I have all my everyday essentials. And since I don't like to rotate bags between work and going out, like I said, I only go out maybe once or twice a week, depending on what I'm doing with my husband or if I'm going out with coworkers or my friend, then I sometimes carry like a small bag. But I have been trying to downsize my wardrobe for like the longest time. Yes, yeah, so I've been trying to find things that have like multi-purpose. So like I said, this bag, it is perfect for work. If I want to use it to go out, I literally just carry it. But I had been on the hunt for like in a bag that I can just throw on if I'm going grocery shopping or if I'm walking the dog. Just something that, I'm sorry for all the hand movements, but something that I can pretty much carry just out the door really fast. And I was looking at uh, like shoulder bags, but sometimes, you know, if I'm wearing leggings, I don't wanna wear a shoulder bag. I just want something that's hands-free. And I was on TikTok, like TikTok literally convinces me to buy everything. I got the Marc Jacobs because of TikTok. So I saw the Lululemon. I honestly don't have my phone, so I don't know the exact name, but I will link it down below. But it's it's by Lululemon and it's a fanny pack slash like crossbody bag. And it's in black. I'm gonna actually switch on my computer and then actually uh, give you guys the exact name. All right, so I just pulled it up. Um, I can't find my phone. I was talking to my mom and I don't know where it is. Probably have to call it through my iPad in a bit, but I don't need it. But it's called, it's the Lululemon Everywhere everywhere belt back and they have different prints and different like materials but like i said in many videos i love the color black literally everything i own is black and i just was looking at it and i was like okay like it looks like a fanny pack you know like i'm pretty sure i can find one like that anywhere but i saw the price and it was very affordable it was less than 40 dollars which i think it's pretty inexpensive compared to other bags and i ordered it and i got it actually like last month and i've used it several times and i'm honestly in love with it like i said they do have different kinds of materials and prints but i just got the black one and it is so nice like you can wear this as a fanny pack or i actually just like to wear it like this um so i usually wear it like this and it's hand free so if i'm grocery sorry don't mind the hair so if i'm grocery shopping if i'm walking the dog or if i just want to go out the door and just do not take my like so if I want to go out the door and not take my tote bag, this is perfect. And I've used it actually several times. I actually used it in one of my vlogs. And it is, like I said, a black, black, just black. And the material is kind of like that material that when you get wet, like it dries up. And that's the reason why I got it because I want to start going to the gym and I want to start hiking. And I felt like this is perfect if I just want to put my phone, my keys, and like a credit card or cash and just carry it with me. And like I said, I've used it several times. So I want to show you guys some of the things that I usually put in here if I were to take it out and then pretty much just give you my final thoughts and if I recommend it or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the things that I usually take when I'm going out in here and then I'll be right back. All right, so pretty much I have everything that fits in here and I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a close up because I didn't do that earlier, but it looks like this. And then this is the inside of it. So it has these little pockets in here 
that you could put your credit card or cash but i always like to carry uh, an extra card holder because i don't like to just put my cards like this and i usually would carry my wallet my wallet is pretty big this is my everyday wallet it's just a ysl wallet and i've had this since last year and i love it but it, it's really big for this and it takes up like pretty much half of it and I don't want to carry that. So like I said, it looks like this on the inside. And then in the back, it also has this little back so you could put uh, your phone in there. But usually the first thing that would go in here would be like I said, a card holder. So if I'm not using that wallet, then I have this Louis Vuitton, um, just, it's like a, just a card holder. So it looks like this. And I've had this for so many years. Like I've actually, had it for like four years now and this is really nice so this was like my first ever like luxury item i guess you could say that but i usually carry this in here and then i always carry wet wipes so i'm gonna just put everything in here so you guys can see that how it fits so the wet wipes are in here and i always carry these because like, like i said if i'm going out grocery shopping then i like to wipe the cart or if i'm going on a hike you know it's they're nice to kind of clean your hands and my card holder in here and I always carry hand sanitizer. This is just the Trader Joe's. You guys could see Dookie Boy. Hi, Dookie Boy. Hi, baby. Um, so this is just the um, hand sanitizer from Trader Joe's. And I usually just put that in there. I always carry some sort of uh, painkillers like Tylenol or Mydol just because sometimes I get headaches. And if it's really hot, then this comes in handy. And then I carry a mirror because just in case, you never know. So like I'm literally like stuffing this in here and as you guys could tell there's like still space in there and i always carry also like like in here like this also will depend on where if i'm going if i'm grocery shopping then i'll just you know carry like the wallet and the hand sanitizer and the wife but if i'm going now like you know if i want to dress casual but also take this and i'll take a lip gloss with me and i always rotate lip between lip glosses so this is just a fenty beauty and it still fits here and i know this is gonna sound weird but i always carry like everywhere like in all of my bags i always have these alcohol prep wipes these are pretty much just for cuts but i usually use them to sanitize my phone or just if my hand's super dirty then i'll just use it and then i always carry uh feminine wipes as well just for public restrooms so this fits in here so my keys are pretty heavy um but they still fit in there usually if my if i'm going now usually i'm out with my husband so i don't need to take my keys but they would still fit there and then the last thing would be my phone but like i said i don't know where it is i have to call it and usually that goes in the back pocket and if you close it i suck at giving reviews so if you close it like it looks like this and like i said this is like perfect for an everyday bag so i'm just gonna stand up so uh, you guys could tell um it's perfect um you can dress it up and dress it down i know they have like i said other materials but i just wanted to get the black one and yeah pretty much i would recommend it honestly perfect for if you're just on the on the go dicky boy what are you doing um yeah so this is perfect if you're just on the go or if you need to take your so this is perfect if you're on the go and like you don't want to take everything you just pretty much put this all like around you and your hands free it's perfect for an everyday use but those are my final thoughts do i recommend it yes but like i said to each their own i really like this i said it like i said it was not that expensive 40 dollars i mean i mean for a lot of people that might be a lot of money but i think for why well, you're gonna get out of it then i think it's perfect so my final thoughts on it is if i recommend it like i said i would i think it's perfect if you're going to the gym and if you don't want to take everything then you could just grab this and go i will find another alternative on amazon or i will try to look for some other more affordable bags that kind of look like this so if you guys did like this video please like this video and comment down below what's your favorite um let me think about it what's your favorite like purse designer i like what's your favorite brand of purses i guess you could say that mine is coach i love coach i love mark jacobs i like to get designer stuff on a budget i don't like to spend more than 200 dollars on a purse even that that's a lot of money so just comment down below what's your favorite brand or your favorite designer and don't forget to subscribe Subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on your notifications so you guys get notified every time I upload. And thank you all so much for all the love and support. 
So I'm very excited to be back and just continue to upload on the days that I should be uploading. I know I've been procrastinating a lot and that's on me, but thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.